Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody. It's Friday and I'm back. Oh my gosh. Yep, I'm back. And what a fun time I've had while I was away. I had the best time, but let's just jump into hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Friday Sews. It's Friday. Time for a little sewing, a little bit of life, a little bit of chatting, a lot of chatting today. I just have so much I want to say that I'm going to have to, you know, pare myself down and be concise. First, if you hear a lot of buzzing, I've got a fan here and a fan there blowing the air conditioner from my little window unit into my sewing room. It's hot. It's hot, everybody. Super hot. So I'm just trying to stay cool, okay? So sewing, I didn't do a lot of sewing because I was out of town and I'll talk about that in a moment, but I did whip up this dress and it's the same pattern I've been talking about. Cannot stop making these dresses. It's 6775 new look and this dress is a dream, dress is a dream. I did not have enough of this fabric to do it correctly. So I did it incorrectly. There you go. I cut the back in two pieces instead of on the fold. I just didn't have enough. So I just did a back seam. And you know, a lot of times when you buy ready to wear, they have a back seam to give it a little curve. I didn't do that. I just sewed it as if it was one piece of fabric. So when I cut it, I just left a little seam allowance on that straight edge that was supposed to be on the fold, sewed up a back seam and voila. The other thing I didn't have enough fabric for was my um, neckband to be on the green supposed to be the little arrow is supposed to be on the green and I just didn't have that so I thought you know what the heck this is kind of a piecemeal dress anyways I did this band and this band these these off the green so it went the other way which is not as stretchy so they do the grain so it's stretchier is this way and then off the grain not as stretchy it sort of solved all my problems with the gaping so I might just do that on purpose sometime uh, I was thinking of doing a little bit of, um, uh, they have this little stay tape for knits. I was going to do that, but I didn't need it. It's so much less gapey than the other dress in this same fabric. So this is a uh, bamboo I got from Hearts online. And I did a little video for my Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, or if you are on Instagram, come find me. It's uh, stephanie.farrell. And I did a little uh, video, they call them reels. And I did one with three dresses and the last dress was the bamboo in a darker color. Love the color, but I think the reason everybody liked the third dress better is because this fabric just really has a nice drape. It just flows and I just feel so good in it. It's so breathable and comfortable. I wish I had a ton more of this, but I do have a lot of knits up there, stretchy fabrics up there in my stash. I'm thinking of just making a bunch more of these dresses. I wear them every day. I've been sleeping in one. I made a black one and I've been sleeping in it. It's a, it's a great nightgown. So I don't know. I might make more of that and I do want to make some other things, but here's my question. What is your go-to pattern and fabric for staying super cool in super hot weather? Let's do that because that's why I'm making these dresses because I'm hot. I don't want to be cool and oh my gosh it's so funny because I showed up to a girlfriend lunch yesterday more about that next week so we have part two today but uh, we're doing a fun project but uh, they both they noticed my dress They're like oh I like that one I'm like you're watching my Instagram aren't you because it's open to the public they can see it too so isn't that hilarious they've been watching my doggy walk so I walk the dog every morning and I post it on Instagram <laughs> look it's really pretty where I live and I want to share my dog walk with you. I'm going to be there anyways. So come watch the dog walk if you like. You know, I've got plans to do other, show other things too, but you know, time. Okay, I've talked enough. This video is going to be too much talking as it is. I need to move on. Uh, my next sewing project is probably, uh, I want to kind of tr go through some of my stash that I haven't used for whatever reason and make some more of these dresses just to wear the rest of the summer. Oh my gosh. That's right. I also might be looking and seeing what you recommend for hot weather because I might want to do that too. So let's see what you got. Uh, okay, personal. It's super hot. Oh, oh, I should tell you, we're going to do a greenhouse update um, soon because we are renting the excavator on Monday and we're going to clear the path to the greenhouse 
going to be so cool. So that's coming. I uh, will show that progress on Instagram and I'll come back and report to you next Friday how it turned out. Hubby's got grand plans to play with that big tractor. Others have told him easier, like brother told him how to get it out with a, you know, an axe. Somebody else told him how to get it out with a something else, but no, he wants the tractor. So we're doing the tractor. He deserves it. He did a lot of work. And if he wants to play with a big, huge piece of machinery, I'm all yes. Yes. We are just back from a simply magical time with our family. And our family means us at the top, kids, kids, kids. So we have us, our kids, their kids, and now their kids have kids. We have four generations. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. So I just want to tell you about it because it was super fun. I'm going to try and do this concisely because I could be here for several hours sharing how much fun we have with these camp camping trips. Camping was always our thing. When we were young, we were poor. We didn't do fancy vacations. We camped. And I mean lay on the ground with a piece of plastic and a sleeping bag camping. And then we had a camper van and, you know, we did tents were just too much trouble. We didn't have these easy up tents that we have nowadays. We just slept on the ground or in our van, our Volkswagen van. So the kids grew up that way. So they're cool with that. And now their kids want their, their kids want to share that with their kids as they grow up. So camping is in our future usually we go to places where I could bring my big camper and be old lady about it but this one was no campers there was no way to get a camper there and they didn't allow one they didn't even allow your car there you had to drop off and then go park in a parking lot so no campers I had no choice I said yes I will do that to be with my family I would do that sure and it turns out funny we are not the only old people in this family anymore <laughs> My son said he didn't think he could lay in a tent either. He's not 50 yet, but what is he, 46? Born in 77? 76? 77? 76? I don't know when he was born, but he's coming up there, man. And I'm telling you, we're not the only ones kind of complaining about did we sleep. <laughs> I survived the tent. You guys, I did. I made it super comfy and I was so happy. Hubby slept in the gravity chair with the pillows, the pillow chair, my invention. And now I have orders to make pillow chairs for my son and my daughter. And you know, I don't like to sew for others, but hey, it's the pillow chair. So I will be making two sets of pillow chairs for them. Have you seen the pillow chairs? So Hubby slept in the pillow chair and was so comfy and I slept in the tent. I'm going to show you my tent. I finally figured out my tent on the last day. So there's our dirty clothes bags. There's some extra things under my clothes, his clothes, little table, windows all open for the day. Comfy bed, not too bad. All in all, not bad. It's so easy to just become a mess right there. <laughs> so I just cleaned it up and it feels better. So this is the best it's been. Time to go home tomorrow. Okay, okay, it's not totally glamping, but I took my rug that I usually put out in front of my camper and put it inside the tent, which just made it nice. And then I had my Coleman cot, which I bought for this trip, and the tent, which I bought for this trip, everything else we had. So it wasn't too bad, right? And um, I was comfy. I put a couple of um, mattress toppers that I had already in the house and I put them on top. One was kind of that hard foam and the other one was a nice soft foam and it, uh, I was comfy. I mean, I didn't like more than that being dirty and not no showers. We came home the first night and took a shower and I thought I'm missing out. So we didn't do that anymore. We stayed the whole rest of the time. Okay, moving on. There are themes. <sighs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. I can't explain this whole thing, but in my laziness, because I'm a lazy sewer, but I'm also a lazy cooker. First time we did this camping trip, I made food and froze it. So we had meals for every day and I didn't want to do that anymore. So I just said, everybody do a dinner and we'll do a fun competition. Because if you make it a competition, my kids will rise to the challenge and want to win. So they made fun dinners and a theme. So your theme was, could have a costume, could have games, could have decorations. We did Hawaiian luau, we did casino night, we did pirate day. Uh, uh, it goes on and on. This has been going on for 20 years. We have a lot, we have done a lot of themes. And somewhere along the line, my son went in our old shed 
we have a shed full of old stuff. We've been here a long time, and before us, my husband's family's been here a long time, and he found this lantern. So, it works, actually. And he painted it gold, and it became our trophy. And this is very coveted in our family. Everybody wants it. And I have it. <laughs> I just, I don't even, how did that happen? We don't, we don't ever win. I always say that. We have won. This is our third time in 20 years. So that's not a lot, but it's a lot. Grammy and Grandpa won. It was kind of our week, you guys. It was so special just being with our family. And everybody was just so nice to us. So nice. So nice. So anyways, everybody who has the trophy is invited to put a knickknack on it of their theme. Clearly this sequin is 80s day. This was All America last year. And this was the first time I won was Highland Games. So this is a little bit of Scottish kilt. And then this one is from Survivor a couple years ago. Somebody's not putting their theme on here. Everybody who's won it hasn't, or it would be just fully full, but um, they're invited to do that. And we're going to put this. This little badge is going to hang. I'll probably get some more twine and hang it. Our theme. Put that right there. You got to see that. Very coveted. Very coveted. Our theme was summer camp. And the fun thing about it was we took the half day because we're the old people and you have to do the full day. We'll do the half day. We get that right, that honor. So we got there early and we told everybody, don't rush. We want to get there first. So it's set up for you guys. And we put up this banner that said, welcome to Camp Bear River Summer Camp 2024. So it was like you were arriving, your campers are arriving at summer camp. I had a little welcome table. Everybody got a badge that said summer camp. And then they had to come up with their um, camp name, like squirrel or tree or willow. I mean, they had some really cute names. Everybody was, you, you play full out. Whatever you're asked to do or play, you play full out because you know when your day you want everybody to participate. So whatever you ask of our group, they will do. And so I asked them to get their names. And then I did care packages. Because when I was a Girl Scout and I went to summer camp, care package from my mom was my favorite. It had comic books and candy. And I shared with all in my tent. And I couldn't find any comic books, you guys. What happened to Archie and, and Betty and Veronica and Jughead? I found one and my granddaughter loved it. It went in her box. So I made them each a little box, all four kids. I made my day about the kids. And when I announced that they were getting care packages, I said, not everybody gets a care package. Only special people get a care package. And if you want, you can share your care package. So I only had care packages for the kids and I called out their names and they were so excited. I even had one for the baby. And I just bought little toy toys age appropriate for them. And my granddaughter walked around the rest of the week holding her care box, she called it. And it had all her stuff in it, her care box. So that was fun. We did spaghetti. I froze it and melted it. And it was kind of a little bit hard to get melted. <laughs> it didn't work out as great as I wanted. And then we did a campfire. And at the campfire, we did songs. I mean, if you're a Girl Scout, you do a lot of singing. And I printed all my old songs that I remembered and put it in a little booklet and made copies for everybody so they could sing. And our grandchildren did not know John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. They didn't know it. And that song kept being hummed the rest of the week. It was stuck in our heads. We did it on top of spaghetti. We did, oh my gosh, Fries Up Old Flame. We did all the songs, all of them. And the kids grew up with, uh, my kids grew up with those. Uh, me singing them and so this was great and um, so then the next day I don't want it to be too long the next day was Vikings they had cool decorations amazing food and some really fun games that were for Vikings they had throwing an axe it was plastic and it, it was so cool they had another game they had Viking chess they had amazing food the next day was a taste of Humboldt where my son lives and they brought special food that you could only buy there special drinks and the food was amazing and then just chill because you chill in Humboldt that's kind of what you do and we went to the um, reservoir and everybody did kayaking and swimming and then the last day was actually on the 4th of July so we did full-on Americana and my grand my daughter did hot dogs for lunch hamburgers for dinner lots of Americana games and we did um, some um, some really cool famous speeches at the campfire. It was fun. It was fun. Flags everywhere. It was so fun. And on the last night we went around the circle and said what we liked about everybody's theme and it was across the board. It was usually 
there's one that's just the best and everybody knows it and we all vote for it. This year, it, everybody got votes. It went around and I think we won by one. But what they loved about our theme over and over was driving up to the sign, welcome to summer camp. And the care boxes, care packages, thank you very much. So. Good morning. Look at this. We are camping. And our campground is empty. There's nobody here but us. And just down the road, the campground's chock full. So didn't we luck out? So it's first day of camping. We all compared our night of sleep and I think we all fared the same. We said slept great, which was code for not at all. But I hear it's really hot down in the lower elevations. It's beautiful here. Breezy, cool, hot in the sun. But it's a great day to be with family. So I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day too. Stay cool, everybody. So we're camping. And this is where we had to come to check the internet. Isn't it beautiful? So see that water down there? That's where we're camping. Probably right about there. And we went kayaking today and swimming. Oh, we're having a marvelous time. It's really hot in the valley. And up here it's just, it's hot, but it's not hot like that. So happy 4th of July for tomorrow, everybody, in case I can't get up here. Have a great one. So today is our last full day and it's 4th of July. So our theme is uh, 4th of July, America. That's my tent. There's Buster right there. Isn't it funny? His bed matches our tent pretty good. Not on purpose, but I do like those colors. And we've got the rest of our campers. They're all kayaking today. Food, 4th of July decorations. So yesterday was Vikings. We had this Viking flag right here and this, these Viking games, Viking chess, Viking tablecloths, Viking food. And then oh, actually the day before yesterday, yesterday was a taste of Humboldt where my son is from. And we did summer camp and we were camp counselors and we had all kinds of fun. So this is our kitchen. That's where we slept. New campers just came in over there. We've had this whole place to ourselves until right now we're leaving in the morning. Bear boxes, you need those up here. Otherwise the bears will come and eat your stuff. Not during the day, but each campsite has their own pit toilet, which is the pits. Hate, hate, hate. And we have a big campfire, big enough for everybody to sit around. And it's been fun. So that's camp. While well, everybody's been roasting in the valley, we've had some nice temperatures. But I am ready to go home. <laughs> it's been fun. It's so fun. It was fun, we had a great time, and after it was all over, everybody came up to our house for a barbecue, and I think that our kids, even my daughter who lives locally, she just, they didn't realize how much work we've done on our place. And we had it all cleaned up and ready, and we did a barbecue, and we had misters from the trailer we put up on our, up our, our upper area, and it was so lovely, it was so lovely. Follow that string. It's so hot today, and we have people coming over, our family, so we're going to hang a mister on that. Is it going to work? It was just great. It was super hot, but it was super great because where we live is shady and it's not as hot as other places. So, I mean, I'm missing everybody. Missing the grand, great grandbabies. Adorable. I wish I could squeeze them right now. They're so cute. And I'm just missing everybody. It was so fun, but it was great. And I just look forward to next time. And um, what a fun time we had. We're just so blessed. Our family, we're so blessed. It's not perfect at all, but it is kind of perfect. 
So I know that when I chat with you guys that you have the same thing. We're all in the same place, you know, and this grandma life is so amazing. And uh, every stage of my life I've really loved, but I love this one. This one's amazing. It's kind of, you get to look back and say, I did that, you know. We managed to raise these kids and they've managed to raise theirs and they, and they look back happily. You know, it wasn't perfect, but they look back happily. And I mean, that's worth a lot. So blessed, so blessed, so blessed. So uh, now that campaign's over, I'm back to what are my goals? What are my projects I'm working on? And I'm just happy to kind of settle down and do that. Although I just don't think I've caught up yet. I still feel tired. It's the heat. We're, we're on the West Coast. So if you're on, in the middle or on the East Coast, we are sending this hot weather to you. I'm so sorry, but it's coming if you haven't already got it. Oh my gosh, it's been so hot. So that's kind of, I want to, I want to end it here because I don't know how long I've been talking. Is it an hour, two hours, three? I might want to go make another dress. Uh, so I am so appreciative that you're here. I'm sorry I wasn't here last week and, um, I'm back. Everything's back to normal and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the comments. Bye now.